Hello, Leo. Welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? What do they wish they could tell Leo at this time? All right, for Leo, spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Leo in love? Looking inward and coming together. Okay, so someone here is thinking about reuniting. Um, so I feel like this is someone that's really thinking about coming together, reuniting, meeting up, um, a destined union, all of that. I feel like someone's thinking about this in secret, kind of. I'm picturing someone like daydreaming, um, thinking quietly. I don't think they're sharing this with anybody. Bottom of the deck, I have tied up, so that kind of makes sense. Maybe someone's trapped, stuck in a situation that prevents them from coming together with you, Leo, or vice versa. Let's see what we got. Guidance messages, please, for Leo. What does Leo need to know? Regarding love spirit. What does Leo need to know regarding love? What's coming towards Leo in love? What's coming towards Leo in love? Let's see. Wow, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Knight of Wands. So something's definitely coming towards you, Leo. Maybe it was slow at first. Maybe some of this is going to happen slower than other things. For example, communication might be fast or like, you know, someone telling you how they feel might be something that happens quickly or unexpectedly. But when it comes to like commitment or, you know, something more long lasting, um, maybe it's just going to take a little bit longer. What is this? Okay. This is like a little smudge from my cards. Okay, bottom of the deck, two of swords. Geez, I just had a reading with Aries where someone had a very difficult decision to make. And I feel like that was leading to a new beginning. Um, Queen of Wands right after that. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, another fire sign, Leo. This could be you possibly needing to make this difficult decision. We'll see what all of this is about. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. I think it's going to be one of those readings where my deck i switched decks because aries um the aries reading i was having the same not issue because i don't really i think it's awesome when the deck wants to talk <laughs> but uh it doesn't make it for a very fun video recording experience anyways so i switched decks right and i'm having the same thing where the decks just want to talk today capricorn energy with the devil again that stuck energy from that stuck card tied up card you know this is kind of like the devil energy someone that's being constricted tied up bound um someone here could be wanting to have something solid but they're stuck tied or in an unhealthy attachment we're dealing with unhealthy an unhealthy environment tell me about the knight of pentacles Two of Pentacles. Okay, can I get one more for the Knight of Pentacles, please? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Seven of Swords. Yeah, okay, so there's something off here with the Seven of Swords, the Devil, and now I have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The Four of Cups is a card about um, dissatisfaction. It's a card about um, not being very open to a new opportunity, being focused on what has already happened and kind of stuck in that energy. I feel like the Seven of Swords with the a Devil card, it could be that someone's making a, a wrong choice here. Um, I feel like whatever decision this is with the Two of Pentacles, someone has to be very uh, careful with, you know? I mean, Tarot is all about intention and reflection, right? Reflection of our thoughts, feelings, um, you know? And you have, people don't really realize that tarot is a reflection of our human selves and humans are not perfect right humans will make mistakes and we do it all the time <laughs> so i feel like you know 
when people are like, well, why is the message still the same? Or, you know, why are you talking about someone, you know, doing this or doing that? It's because that's what people are really doing. That's, you know, the message is going to be the same because people are making the same choices. Okay. So I feel like this is someone that needs to be very careful about the decision that they make. Let's see if we can get some clarity on this Two of Pentacles. What's this Two of Pentacles about, Spirit for Leo? Jeez. Queen of Pentacles, okay? What's this Two of Pentacles about for Leo? What's this Two of Pentacles about for Leo? The Tower, you see what I'm saying? There you are, Leo, strength at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone here, um, they're probably thinking about stability and finances. And it's almost like either I cause a tower or I stay where I'm at, where I'm comfortable. That's kind of what I'm seeing here with the Two of Pentacles and these two cards coming up. This could also be a card about a tower coming in to disrupt stability or security for someone. Now I say someone because this could be all of your energy or it could be your person's energy. So flip it as it resonates for you. But the strength card showed up for this tower card. So when I pulled the tower, strength was at the bottom of the deck. Someone might need courage to cause this tower or deal with the aftermath of a tower. But I have the nine of cups here. So this is a card about satisfaction. Wishes being granted. Success, enjoying your success. What's this nine of cups about? Why is the nine of cups here? Seven of wands, okay. Why is the nine of cups here? Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Queen of Cups. So this is what I'm getting. I want this one and this one. Okay, so yeah. Four of Cups and Six of Swords. So I feel like someone's not very happy where they're at. So they're fighting for, I feel, based on what I'm seeing, fighting for independence. This is someone that's fighting for either being single or there's challenges about you know getting their wish so someone that has an idea of what they want in their mind they're thinking well to get what i want i have to deal with all of this seven of wands right i would have to move away from what i'm not happy with right four of cups six of swords um, i would have to be open to something new you know with the six of swords because the six of swords is all about leaving something behind and moving towards something new. So with the Six of Swords, there's always this kind of theme of difference, change, right? You're, you're going through a transition with the Six of Swords. Things are not the same where you're going. That's why you're going there. Um, so I feel like for someone to have this wish with the Nine of Pentacles especially, I feel like someone wants to, okay, I got the message. Someone wants to be able to love freely. Be free to love. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. And is fighting to be able to love or to have this opportunity where they're free to love who they want to love and be who they want to be with. Tell me if that's resonating for you. Three of Pentacles, Temperance at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone's working on this and Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles and Temperance, two cards about balance, two cards about harmony, resolution, right? I feel like someone's working on this. Um, tell me more about this Queen of Cups. And I do have two queens here. So very is, there's a possibility that there might be a third party here. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Temperance. Okay, so the message is the message. <laughs> okay, so I feel like this is about someone working on rebalancing, on a resolution, on harmony. Maybe time here is being spent, right? Patience. Someone's being patient as they work towards whatever this Queen of Cups is, which I feel it could be a person or it could be um, the energy of loving someone, right? Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, someone here is dealing with a burden or something difficult with the Devil, Seven of Swords. Now I have the Ten of Wands. The Tower is here. Seven of Wands. I feel like there's going to be a battle here um for whoever is 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 uh wanting this resolution there's a battle attached a burden that would need to be dropped something that needs to be left behind with the six of swords 
Tell me about the Knight of Wands. This is action, swift action, someone kind of impulsively uh, moving towards what they want. Knight of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Um, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, very similar energy. Somebody putting in time, effort into something. The Moon, Pisces energy. Six of Cups. Death at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio energy. So this could have been something in the past that ended. Two of Wands, yeah. Something, we, okay, I'm getting several messages. Something needs to end with death in order to have this Two of Wands. I see that. But I also am getting the sense that with the Six of Cups here and death at the bottom of the deck, it's almost like maybe something ended in the past. And that's why there's a reunion energy here. But the Moon is here as well. So there's a lack of clarity. Very similar to the Aries reading. If you're dealing with an Aries, check it out. Um... I believe the Eight of Pentacles showed up for that reading as well. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. I'm getting almost like an anxious energy here from this Knight of Wands, which I typically don't get. But I'm almost getting like this energy of like, I need to just go out there. I need to get this done. Uh, I need to like work on this. Page of Swords. Maybe this is somebody that needs to talk page of cups at the bottom of the deck i need to tell leo how i feel or vice versa but there's the moon is almost like they don't know something tell me about this moon maybe this is someone that wants to tell you what they're willing to do what they're willing to work on here the emperor aries energy some of you are definitely dealing with an aries um, I'm almost getting like someone's not sure about um, making this happen. There's doubts. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. Or if the you know if you are dealing with an Aries Leo, maybe they don't know here. Eight of Wands. Yeah. So I feel like this is someone that whatever they don't know, like let's say this is someone that doesn't know how you feel, doesn't know you know if there's a possibility of you being together with them. There needs to be communication about this. There needs to be clarity about this. I feel like almost, it's, it's almost like if someone just had the clarity, they would put in the effort. Maybe when things ended, there wasn't any closure or the closure was very minimal. And so now someone's like, well, if I were to go back to Leo, you know, would they accept me? I have no idea, right? And so the lack of clarity is almost like, making things more difficult or it could be you thinking this about your person well if i go back to this other person i have no idea how they feel i know how i feel but how do they feel and since i don't know this tower is a huge risk right where's all of this headed for leo where is all of this headed for Leo and this other person's spirit? What do we need to know? What's next for this connection? We have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there's doubt about the future, uncertainties about the future. The number seven is very important here. Seven days, seven weeks, seven months, seven years. Something in July, maybe. Strength, Leo energy interesting yeah someone doesn't have the courage because they don't they would only i feel have the courage if they knew how things would end up and that's not how life works you know king of swords yeah clarity is very important ten of swords also i wanted to pull that one out and now i know why <laughs> it's almost like a reminder that there this is like similar to the ten of wands tower death card something ending something wrapping up the completion of something a difficult ending right with the ten of swords i feel like for someone to take action here it's almost like they want to know before they take action and life doesn't work that way a lot of the time you know i feel like a lot of us would make way different decisions if we knew the future right if you knew the future of your decisions wouldn't you make different ones right or wouldn't that affect the decisions you make 
I'm sure for a lot of us, that would be the case, right? But we don't know the future. <laughs> so because we don't know, we have to go by faith or make an educated guess or take a risk. King of Swords. I think at least someone will take the risk here to at least talk. Talking, I feel, is easier. Tell me about this King of Swords. This is harder. Tell me about the King of Swords. Two of Swords, yep. So this is what someone's debating, I feel, right now. Um, what to say, what to do, what the clarity is, um, being undecided until they have this clarity. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Lovers. Gemini energy. Yeah. Will this partnership work? Do they feel the same? Are we meant to be? Nine of Wands. So I feel like someone is wondering if there is, um, if, if, if you would give them a chance or if you would be resistant to this. Leo. Maybe a lot of time has passed between what happened, you know, between you here. The star, Aquarius energy with strength. Yeah, it's almost like someone needs to have faith, hope. Um, there's hope, but there's no guarantee. Bottom of the deck, the nine of cups again. So this could definitely be someone's wish. Um, to get their wish, to get their um, wish granted, there might be some sort of decision that someone needs to be brave enough to make. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you. I hope this resonated. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please leave a comment down below. Let me know that you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers. I really appreciate all of your support. And hopefully I will be seeing you all in another video very soon. Take care.